I'm Gary Guida. Welcome to another Jam Pack edition of Gabbing with a G-Man. Some of the topics that we talked about on my afternoon show. We're live here from the Light Rock Studio. Prince, still a main topic. And according to Fox News, and this is kind of sad, he had signed up for rehab just before his death, so we kind of knew he had a problem. And according to Aux.TV, Prince had this safe at his estate, and he was the only one that knew the code, didn't share it with anybody. So they had a drill open the safe, and what they found inside were unreleased duets with Stevie Nicks and Chaka Khan, drum solos from his favorite drummer, Sheila E., and lots of unreleased songs. We'll never know if those songs will see the light of day. Right now, his siblings are kind of squabbling over his estate, so maybe down the road we can get some new releases and new music from Prince, and that would be such a great thing. From Prince, we go to Katy Perry from Mashable.com. She wants to take a break. Last album, super, super successful. She wants to get out of the limelight. She doesn't want to be an over, oh, she doesn't want to be overexposed, and I think that's a good plan and a good strategy for her. So it may be, it'll be a while before we hear some new music from Katy Perry. From Katy Perry, we go to Janet Jackson, and this is great news. Mother's Day right around the corner. Don't forget mom this Sunday. She is going to be a mom, first time, age 50. She stopped her unbreakable tour midway because she wanted to concentrate and focus on, on having a baby and that seems to have worked. She's pregnant for the first time at 50. So congratulations to Janet Jackson. From Janet Jackson, we go to the world's greatest rock and roll band, the Rolling Stones, according to BBC News. They have told the probable Republican nominee for President of the United States, Donald Trump, to stop using their music. Mr. Trump has been using Start Me Up before campaign rallies, and the Stones want to put a halt to that. I think they slapped him with a cease and desist and told him that you can't use our music anymore, so we'll have to see if the Donald will comply. From Donald Trump, we go to the Light Rock 2K Workday Payday. We just had a visit in the Light Rock studios from Sharon Albertson. She was all smiles. She works at Atlantic Art. She won $1,000 just for listening at work. She cashed in. More chances for you to win a cool grand all throughout the month of May. Eddie Davis gives you the exact times at 610 and 710. That'll do it. Another jam-packed edition of Gabbing with the G-Man. We'll see you next time.